My name is Flash Isaac and I'm a teacher from the future. When I was much younger, I saw thousands and thousands of people fail jam and unable to gain admission. This made me travel in time. Now I am back with the Flash Letter Jam app and a series on YouTube tagged 120 Days to Jam. My mission is to help you blast jam and as well get justice for everyone who jam has served breakfast. You are welcome to another interesting episode of the 120 Days to Jam Physics with Flash Isaac. In this episode, we shall be looking at calculations on the transformer. Of course, this should not be your first episode in electromagnetic induction. We've covered about six, seven episodes already. So we actually started from the bottom and you should start from the bottom with us. When it comes to transformer, we have the primary side of the transformer and we have the secondary side. In the primary sides, we have the number of tones, like of coil. You see just the coil winding in the transformer. That is the loop or number of tones. In the other side of the transformer, which is output, we also have coil. We don't expect the number of tones in the primary to be equal to the number of tones in the secondary. If this happens, or a situation where in a transformer, the number of tones in the primary is the same thing as the number of tones in the secondary, it will not act as transformer, it will act as a mere conductor. So the total current entering will be the current leaving. Now, if the number of tones in the primary are more than that in the secondary, the transformer will step down. If the secondary is more than the primary in terms of the number of tones, it will step up the voltage. Now, transformer has the number of tons in primary, number of tons in secondary. And there is voltage in the primary and voltage in the secondary. For step up, voltage in secondary should be more than that of primary. And for step down, voltage in primary should be more than that of secondary. And voltage and current should be inverse in transformer, which means if the voltage in secondary is more, the current should be more and frequency does not change in transformer. It works at the same frequency. So these are the formulas you need to calculate or solve transformer problems. The first one is number of tons in primary over the number of tons in secondary is equals voltage in primary divided by voltage in secondary. So if any of them is missing, you know what to do. Make the missing one subject formula and substitute the others that you are given. Another formula is the number of tons in primary divided by the number of tons in secondary is equals the EMF in the primary over the EMF in the secondary. In terms of current and voltage, current in the secondary divided by current in the primary is equals voltage in the primary divided by voltage in the secondary, which is I1 from here. IS VS is equals IP VP. We know that V is equals I R. So V over I is constant. The ratio of voltage and current V1 over I1 is equals V2 over I2. As such, IS over IP is equals VP over IS. If you have primary current here, you should go to secondary voltage. Primary, uh, sorry, secondary current to primary voltage. Primary current to secondary voltage. Then you'll be asked to calculate the efficiency of transformer. Efficiency of transformer is power output over power input times 100. Power output over power input times 100. Sometimes you'll be given the power input. Sometimes you'll not be given. Sometimes you'll be given both of them. But there are times, or most times, where you are not given power input per se. They will not say, take power input to be this. As such, power input 
is the same thing as IPVP. P is equals IV. So input is the primary. So primary current times primary voltage, that would be your power input. Output is your secondary. So secondary current times secondary voltage is your power input. So efficiency is IS VS over IP VP times 100%. And efficiency is always lesser than 100% because the power output will be lesser than power input all the time. Why is power output lesser than power input? Because losses occur. Even in machines, efficiency is not 100% because of friction and other stupid losses that occur in the system. Now, a transformer has 300 tons of wire in the primary coil. So number of tons in primary is 300 and, three, and 30 tons in the secondary coil. So number of tons in secondary is 30 tons. If the input voltage is 100 volts, input is primary voltage, that is 100 volts. The output voltage is dash. Output voltage is voltage in the secondary. From here, food is ready. NP over NS, 300 over 30, is equals VP over VS, 100 over VS. This is 10. VS should be 100 over 10, and that is 10 volts. I don't know how you solve or the way you love solving, but it's a problem. So long you're able to arrive at 300 over 30 is equals 100 over Vs. Anyhow you solve and you're able to get 10 volts, solve it. That is your answer. The primary winding of a transformer has 400 tons. Primary tone is 400. And secondary has 100 tons. N S is equals 100. From here, obviously, this is a step-down transformer. The voltage in the primary will definitely be lesser than the voltage in the secondary because the number of tons is more in the primary. So this is a step-down transformer. We are told that if a source of EMF of 12 volt is applied to the primary, EMF in the primary is 12 volts, EP. The secondary EMF will be dash. So ES is equals question. So comparing EMF in transformer, it is the same thing as comparing voltage. That is NP 400 over NS 100 is equals EP primary EMF over secondary ES. So here is 4, right? And ES will be 12 over 4. And that is 6 over 2. And this is 3 volts. The voltage is equals 3 volts in the secondary. And since we have more number of tons in the primary than secondary, it is expected for it to be stepped down. The secondary voltage will be lower than the primary voltage. A transformer steps down from 240 volts to 12 volts. If a transformer steps down from 240 volts to 12 volts, it means that the voltage in the primary is 240 volts. The step down voltage is the one in the secondary, and that is secondary voltage 12 volts. And it supplies a 12 volt, 24 watts lamp. What is the efficiency? Of the transformer if the current drawn from the supply is 0.12 amps the supply is 240 volts and the current drawn from the supply is 0.12 amps the current drawn from the supply is obviously the primary current so primary current is 0.12 amps 
and primary voltage is 240 volts. What is the efficiency? Efficiency is equals question. There are many ways or many things that we can do. But the question already saves us a lot of strength. It says, and power is supplied, power of 24 watts is supplied to the lamp. So if power of 24 watts is supplied to the lamp, it means power output is equals 24 watts. This is the power output. And efficiency is power output over power input times 100. From here, we have power output to be 24 watts. The power drawn by your uh, mains, by your like the instruments, the gadgets, your electronics, your household appliances, that is power output. And the power that is being fed is 0.12 amp current and 240 volt. So power input is primary current times primary voltage, like I explained earlier, times 100. So this efficiency is 24 over 0.12 times 240 times 100. So that is your efficiency. And if solved correctly, it is 83.3%. There are many ways questions can come under transformer. In some cases, you'll be given efficiency and some kind of parameters and asked to look for the missing one. They are always very, very easy. So this is where I will stop on that questions for transformer. If you have any challenge or a question you are unable to solve, bring it to me. I will help you out. I always display my number. You can even comment. Like recently, someone uh, asked a question in the comment box and I was able to look at the question and I solved it in the next video. So always like, comment so that everyone can learn from your experience or what you want. Many persons have the same needs as you. Ladies and gentlemen, if you love what you are seeing, why not subscribe to this channel and why not tell others about the Flash Lenance YouTube channel. See you in the next episode and get the Flash Lenance application and play with questions.